Hello everyone, Zeno Zuma here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we did a mission, we did a request, and a power log. <sighs> this time we're going for a pretty hard hitting one. Captain? Captain! Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain, thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Oh. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course, we're both sworn to protect this place. Where did they come from? It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Are the students safe? Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. Okay, so first of all, I can reach the chest. We want to reach that chest. We've got the Mount Beasts and students. Uh, there's a student there, student there. Okay, so we want to. There really are demonic beasts here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, protect the students who weren't able to get away. Help me! These beasts, they're... Uh, somebody, help me! You stupid beasts! Don't you dare come over here! Okay. Let's get so to first, it. Let's just open this chest. Healing staff. Who, me? Ready any time. We can handle that. Let's give it a try. Leave it to me. You don't have time for this. Don't look. Don't look. I'm both steel. Okay. Stay focused. Ready and willing. Let us away. I got this. I stand ready. 
like the present. I think I've gotten stronger. That beast. There's a stone or something on its forehead. Interesting. Haven't seen her in a long while. Beasts were actually students. How can this be? Thank you, but my friends who couldn't get away, are they okay? They might not be. Especially with this revelation. Sifia levels up. I don't have time. Honestly, it's not that lovely, Sifia. Level up. Drawn forward. Okay, drawn. It's there. It's fate. Just like that. Dance. But we shall dance. Good work. Just breaking it, Ka. 
casually. I'll assist you. Pull out all the stops. Can we help? Now's our chance. Back to it. Gerald, why? I stand ready. Ah! 
I got this. Let us away. Stay focused. All right, there we go. Ready and willing. Ready any time. Pony. Sorry. That was a close one. <gasps> you saved me. Thank you. Energy drop. MVP? Let's go. On. <sighs> there isn't a trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Remire. Perhaps... Wait! Huh? Another student? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> You're just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, you dope. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> huh? What are you doing here? You must survive. Merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. Like I said, this mission would be hard. Like I said, it would be an actual hard mission. Still hits me hard. Oh, still hits me hard. So this is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. It wasn't fate. 
control yourself. Though Gerald's death was at the hands of wicked ones, a fate is still a fate. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Oh, read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat? Day 2 of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... that Gerald would meet his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him. I was... He wasn't the most emotional guy. I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. Many years? It was a long while back. At the time, Gerald was a soldier of the kingdom. He was injured in battle, and I saved him just as he was about to perish. That was our first meeting. After that, he became a Knight of Seros. He gave his all in service of the Church. Why did he leave the Knights? He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garigmach. Their love produced a child, whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Who was my mother? 
Your mother. She was my... I'm sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood? Part 1. White Clouds. Guardian Moon. Where the Goddess Dwells. Long ago, the Guardian Saros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the Goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across Fodlan. Some believe that high in the sky above Saros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. <sighs> There's not really much we can say. It's so heavy. Hey, Professor, got a minute? I feel like I should play this one. Look, she was, I'm sorry I, I snapped this? at you. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I was rude to you. I should have known better. If it's the one I'm thinking of. I'm sorry, honey. Huh, I thought you might say that. And that way, you're just like Captain Gerald. You accept other people. You don't let petty details get under your skin. How'd you know my father? Well, when I was a kid, I kind of latched onto him. I've been calling myself his apprentice ever since. He spent some time in the village I grew up in. Actually, you weren't with him back then. Why not? I don't remember. Huh. Maybe he left you with a relative or something. Anyway, back then, Gerald's job was to deal with poachers. Well, they were bandits, but we called them poachers. Nobody in the village could stand up to them. But your dad, I was so impressed. All I could think was how amazing mercenaries were. I'd lived in that tiny village my whole life. So to me, Captain Gerald was nothing short of a legend. So I went right up to him and I told him I was going to be his apprentice. He didn't stick around long after that, but he did teach me a lot while he was with us. Tactics, strategy, training routines. It was all so new and exciting. So after he left, I kept at it, kept training, just like he taught me. Glad you got to see him again. Me too. I always planned to meet him again once I became a top-tier mercenary. But I'm just glad I got to see him, to thank him properly and all. I've spent my whole life with There were so many times when I... That's how I've made it this far. Just hard work, all on my own. And it's like you don't appreciate Captain Gerald at all, or how lucky you were to have him around your whole life. I hate this part. This part of the B rank is awful. Especially because it can only come after Gerald has passed. If it came before, I don't think I would have as much of a problem. No, oh, it still really bothers me. You might be his kid, but I'm still his best apprentice. Got it? <laughs> I felt like that was the only one I feel like I need to show. Day 5 of the Garland Moon, year 1157. Clear skies. I picked some flowers for her and returned home. The look of joy on her face at the sight of these flowers will be even more beautiful than the flowers themselves? Yeesh, that is enough. His entries from before your birth are full of such romantic blatherings as that. Oh, 
It must be deeply moving you to hear such things, but now is not the time for whimsy. Someone is here. You do not wish for them to see you in this state, so pull yourself together. I thought I might find you here, Teach. Not the type to wallow in solitude, huh? That's a relief, let me tell you. So, what were you reading? Is that Gerald's? Yeah. So it is. Hey, maybe this has some entries from when Gerald left the monastery. Is that so? He was the captain of the knights, but something made him leave the monastery in a hurry. If it has something to do with your birth, knowing what happened may get us closer to knowing what secrets the church is hiding. Teach, would you mind letting me read that diary? I know how important it is to you, but I'm not asking lightly. Please allow me to borrow it. I can't allow it. Wait, are you really saying I'm going to have to sneak in here in the dead of night to read it? I know how important it is to you, but... Yeah, it's a Bavao Mas. I'm forever in your debt, Teach. If you'd refused, I would have had to sneak in here in the dead of night. I wasn't looking forward to the prospect. Better be careful with this, Claude. Anyhow, let me fill you in on what's been going on lately, and not just as thanks for pointing me to that diary. Rhea dispatched the knights to various locations in a frantic search for the enemy. There's a rumor that she's already secured some information. Something big is going to happen soon. That has me wondering. If you find out where the enemy is, what will you do about it? If you ask, I... No, scratch that. All of us students would gladly lend a hand. Even if that means going against Rhea's wishes. Don't forget it. Now go. Everyone's worried about you. You'd better show them you're in good spirits. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. <sighs> it's Ingrid's birthday. Uh, we're doing nothing. Let's just see the bell. Oh no, we haven't! Okay, so what was shown was wrong. But I do think we have to do it in this month. Uh, normally, I'd probably be finishing up what Ignatz needs, but, uh, no. If you must weep, then weep. I shall be here for you. Well, it would be ridiculous to not feel anything after something like that. Go on and let it out. I am here. I like that scene. That little bit. It's nice. It shows that there's some humanity. That's so. Uh... <laughs> Hello there. Professor. It is a shame what happened to Gerald. I am sorry. There are no words. Leave some flowers on his grave for me.
Hello there. Ah, Captain Gerald's gone. He's gone, and we'd only just reunited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure this is even harder on you, but I just can't. I can't believe. I'm so sorry. I never quite know what to say at times like these. Just don't push yourself too hard too soon. It's okay to allow yourself to be sad right now. Losing someone dear to you. Well, each loss is unique, but it's a feeling I know very well. That said, Professor, I... Oh no, Professor. Thank you for all you have done for us. Nothing to report today. Professor, I was so worried. Oh, Professor, you must be starving. Mercy and I made some sweets for you. We were thinking that if you were to eat something sweet, it might help you feel better. <laughs> Baking sweets is my specialty. I'm sure they'll do the trick. Professor, please lend us your ears. Ferdinand is saying impossible things. I do not see what is impossible about it. All I said was that if you want to go back to Brigid, you probably can. You are the Empire's guest, so to speak. They cannot afford for something bad to happen to you. There would be a diplomatic incident. Someone close to us has turned up dead. So one could argue that you are not safe here anymore. I am not returning to home until I have grabbed my goal. I will not be listening to the words of Ferdinand. No, look, I did not mean to pressure you. Apologies. Everyone's handling grief in different ways. Professor? What happened to Gerald? It's terrible. If there's anything I can do, simply ask. Even if what you desire is revenge, we can't let them get away. Smell. I I did not I think Hello there. Uh, the other night, I... I had the honor of sharing a drink with Gerald. <laughs> he was pretty tactless, honestly. He could be blunt at times. But he always looked like such a proud, happy father whenever he spoke of you. deepest condolences. I knew him long before I ever even met you. He was always so much fun to be around. It's such a loss. Hey, how about a favor? Do you have time for a request? 
trained with Gerald just the other day. Why? Why did he have to go and die? It's too awful. He didn't deserve it. Teach. Might as well speak to Claude. Hey, Teach. Do you believe in gods? I don't necessarily mean the goddess of... Do you believe that incredible beings who control the fates of all really exist? I do not. Yeah, I didn't think so. I never used to believe in that sort of thing either. I've always hated the idea of praying to a god. After all, you can only really rely on yourself. I still believe that. You can't win a war by leaving your fate in the hands of a god. Only tangible facts can really decide a war. Which side has the most troops, the best tactics, the better organization and planning? Of course, miracles can happen. And by that, I mean things that are completely outside of your control. Things that only seem to add up if you believe in the concept of fate. Things like, well, like meeting you, for example. What do you mean? You just seem sort of impossible. I think everyone would agree with that. You can wield the sword of the creator. You're a tactical genius, and you have this strange ability to earn the trust of anyone you cross paths with. Before I met you, I never imagined that it was possible for someone like you to exist. Because that's because I'm a protagonist. And yet, now that I know you, your presence in my life has quickly become invaluable. In fact, it's hard to imagine making my dreams come true without your help. Because of that, I can't believe for a second that our meeting was just a coincidence. That means it must have been fate. Maybe it was a miracle. Or maybe some god empathized with me in my dreams. Some god? Again, I don't mean the goddess of Fodlan. Though, I suppose it may be hard for you to grasp what I'm talking about. People all over the world have different ideas about who or what the gods are, right? Even in distant lands across the ocean or over the mountains. Yeah, there's some gods that think they're dragons and some that are literally stuck in a medallion. <laughs> they have gods who see the world as a whole, who don't care about Fodlan's borders. I don't think some believe that. <laughs> who don't meddle in our affairs, who don't grant life or take it away. And maybe, sometimes, they'll make a miracle happen. A god like that, that's the sort of god I think I could believe in. I think I understand. Careful, Teach. You'll anger the followers of Saros if you say things like that. <sighs> I'm just speaking my mind, that's all. I think people should be free to believe in whatever gods they want. If a person believes in a god and that god becomes a support system for them, that's a good thing. That's what a god should be. Anyway, maybe I've overstepped a bit. It doesn't matter. I knew you'd understand. In any case, let's keep this conversation between the two of us, yeah? Yeah, me, you, and all the people watching. <laughs> He's what's a B plus. Oh. Bernadette's here. Professor, I um, I brought some flowers for Gerald. It's the least I can do. Sometimes I feel like all I do is run away. Anyway, I'll go lay them out. Eisner Gerald Eisner Resting in the warm embrace of cherished memories Interesting they don't know when Gerald was born Professor, oh goddess, hear my prayer. Please receive this beloved person. When the cold rain washes the body, when the bird and wolf announce the dawn, receive them into your blue blood 
receive them into a twinkling star. That's a morning scripture from the Church of Saros. Lady Rhea taught it to me. I pray that Geralt is happy in the next world. Need something? This one? You're all set. See you again soon. Still feel the heaviness. Is something hiding? A small over bag. That inside. ring. A ring. I have seen it before. Ah, I know. He said he wished for you to have that ring one day. He also said that you should... Now, we have a ring. And this will become important much later. You've lost someone very dear to you. I'm so... You have my sympathy. Manuela and I can take on some of your workload this month. We can't do all the teaching, but at least we can lighten the load for you. I've always seen strength in your eyes. I know you'll recover. You're a very strong person. I don't feel very strong right now. Hmm. Even now, right. I'm trembling. I have something rather uncomfortable to discuss. It's about the weapon that killed Geralt. Will you listen? I will listen. It was a dagger, but I know enough to know it wasn't an ordinary dagger. It wasn't made of iron or steel because, well, because whatever it was, the wound it left wasn't normal. Who could make a blade like that, do you figure? Practice yields results. Well, excuse me, Professor. How are you holding up? I know how heavily grief weighs upon one's heart. I lost my mother some time ago. It was... Forgive me my moment of weakness. Even all these years later, I cannot recall that time without feeling the pain as if it were brand new. Just know that I am praying for your mind and your heart to find peace. Professor. Hmm. First Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both Tomas and Monica have each gone missing at one time or another. It was reported that when Monica returned from her disappearance, she began to act like a completely different person. As if, perhaps, the real Monica had been killed and replaced by an imposter. Thinking of it like that, it is possible that this Solon had been impersonating Tomas for some time. How they managed such a convincing change of appearance, though, I still do not understand. this time. Ah, uh, yes. I have grown to two damage.
temporarily go to a base, cause, and then do a bit of fishing. Cause there is one more thing I forgot to do. Don't know if I'm ready for it, but hey, I want to at least see if I can set it up. And today's free time, because there's not much we can do with it. I'm still feeling heavy. Sorry. <laughs> Destruct manually. <laughs> Do I go like Sophia? You know what? We will. Just so she can max out fame. Okay. Good task. Yeah, we'll still work with that. Yeah, we'll still work with that for a bit. We'll still work with that because you definitely need it. We can switch to bow and axes again. and bow. Yeah, we'll keep with that. And begin lecture. I gotta ask you something.
Big visuals for Happy Muscles Crew. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Of course it would. Even Professor. Not exactly. Grayers. I'm honored. We'll knock their socks off. We did okay. Yeah, didn't do great, but not bad. I'm beginning to understand. I always was at Quicks. Oh. It's St. Sarah's Day. I've never sung a song before, so I don't know if I. Me, me, me. You're awful. Like, <laughs> Florence, I am so long. My glass. Practice yields result. Australia's birthday! Let's do nothing. Simplifications. We're not ready yet. We need B plus and reason. Can Blaine actually do it yet? Because I do eventually want Blaine. No. Explore. We'll start fishing. Mm. And I'll also allow myself to be taught in reason. I can reason Professor. people. Uh, Ignatz and Leone. That look nice. I did not. This is. Do some gardening, harvest, with an ambrosia. You know what? Let's show the big yield. Oh. Yeah, I saw fish in the pond. Really? Excuse me, Professor. I know. I forgive. Just know that. The 
the glory of progress. Sadly, there's nothing to boost reason even further. You, man, what we can't. I've all. You're a vet. And there's not really much. Oh, there's someone wanting to talk about there. I don't think I'm strong enough yet. So, hmm. let's see if you have Marianne. Singing with I can't. Okay, quickly, quickly now, come on, so I want that episode soonish. Oh, come on, operating. hard to get, but Mephro is even harder. I would sell this, but... Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Because I can get some renown from everything else. I didn't get that glitch. Grant, I think that glitch has been fixed, so <laughs> it's not gonna be. All thanks to your help. I would like. I would. Yeah. 
This one. I'm still growing. Yep. But what's that? Next time. Fire emblem. Three houses. I can't believe I did it! That strength is going to be helpful. Next time, we will... Of course, you now available to... Now I'm available to you as well. Next time, we will do the paralogue. And some quests. I'm not setting a very good example. <laughs> <laughs>